Hi guys, happy Friday. Um, yeah, today I thought I'd do another video blog for you. And to me, it's probably a biggie subject, what we're gonna cover today. And it's all about pig's valve versus mechanical valve. So a lot of you, as I was, was really, really worried about this um, situation. You know, I used to toss and turn and think, which one do I want? And it wasn't up until the night that I went for my surgery that I had a decision. And that is because, um, I had advice from other people, which is fantastic, you know, because everybody's got their opinion, but actually until they're going through it themselves, they really don't understand, you know? So for me, it's about learning to go within and to find your own solution because your body knows what it needs to be effective. You just have to tune into that. And also I'm not religious, but, um, I did do a little bit of praying. Um, I do believe in God myself. But I mean, you know, if you don't believe in God, you can call out to a higher source or somebody that's passed over before you or something and ask them for guidance. And what I did each night, I just kept saying to myself, okay, in the morning when I wake up, I want my conscious mind to be able to rationalize what's going on and bring forward the solution for me. And I did also ask God and said, you know, can you bring me the guidance that I need? And it was brought. So take the advice, write a list of the pros and cons and go within and ask yourself and outer guidance what it is you need to do. Now, let's get on. So today, obviously, we're going to look at the pig's valve and see the benefits of that. Now, obviously, the pig's valve is more of a natural product in your body. It's more like your body because pigs are more like us. When they get the pig's valve, they harvest it from a pig that's been well looked after. They neutralize it so that your body can accept it and it doesn't reject it. Now, for some people, they only have to take one aspirin, a little bit of aspirin. For other people, um, they have to take it regular. And then for some people, they don't. You know, it's different for everybody. And um, also, they tend to give the pig's valve to women that want children. Um, because it's compatible with that. And also older people tend to get them, maybe 70s or 80s. Now, people that tend to go for the pig's valve go for it for lots of different reasons. And one of the reasons is so they don't have to go on blood thinner for the rest of their life. And so they can live a more active life style because with the pig's valve, that's what you can do. Now, also the benefits of the pig's valve is it doesn't have a sound, it's more like a natural valve. So obviously people feel better with that. Now the downside, um, the one downside to the pig's valve is as you know, that you will have to have another operation. Now some pig's valves last from five, right up to 16, 17 years. I know somebody that's had one for 17 years, but everybody's different, remember that. But there's no guarantees with any valve that we have that it's gonna be for life. So, the mechanical valve. Now, the mechanical valve, as you know, has had studies done in Sweden that say it's more durable, so it can actually outlive the patient, which is good news, and we don't need another operation, hopefully. Now, with the mechanical valve, as you know, you take something called warfarin, which is this. And warfarin is a tablet, it comes in different milligrams, one milligram, six milligram, you know, lots of different milligrams anyway, and there's different colours to them. And um, your doctor will tell you how much you need to take for your body to get your levels right, and they call that INR. Uh, I'm not going to go into that right now, because I don't really know much about it, but it's, it's about your blood levels and how thin your blood needs to be. Now, there are certain things that you have to watch when you are on blood thinner, which is your diet. Anything with vitamin K in it, because vitamin K is the antidote to uh, warfarin. It reverses it, and that's what they give you if, you, you know, you were in an accident. Talking of accidents, if you are in an accident, you do get a card that you carry around with you, a little yellow card that tells the health professionals that you are on a blood thinner, so you must take that with you. Um, also, um, you have to go and get regular checks for your blood. Now, this will be different for everybody. Now, some people at the beginning, they have to go more often and then it tends to stabilize. But you must be consistent with your diet in order for that to occur. Now, some people can have what they want and some people can't. Drinking. 
they usually say about one unit a day, which is like one glass of wine, not to overindulge again, because this can affect your warfarin levels and it can thin the blood. So that's something we have to be careful of. And also we really need to look after our teeth um, and make sure that we get six monthly regular checkups and also any piercings or tattoos because some people are insured to do that and some people use dirty needles, which, you know, quite frankly, anybody can't afford to do, but especially people with valve problems. Now, also one of the problems with the mechanical valve is the sound. I'm just gonna get the camera so that you can hear mine. Okay, so let's hope that you can hear it. Okay, so, it sounds a little bit like a watch, uh, some people say a clock, and that can be a little bit annoying, but to be honest, I'm five weeks out of surgery now, and I'm kind of getting used to it. So you do get used to it. The only time that you can notice it really is if it's quiet and you're focusing on it. But other than that, it's all good really. And you know, <sighs> you've got to weigh up what is right for you and your body, and that is the most important thing. So listen to yourself and listen to your own gut instinct about what your body needs and ask your body because it knows and it will guide you to your truth. Now, there are going to be things on this video that I've filmed today that, um, you know, that I haven't remembered or filled in. So I'd be so happy if people out there that have had valve replacements, mechanical and pigs, could put a message below and tell me how you got on and why you come to your decision please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying what it is I'm doing and please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for watching today.